but I just saw this and I fell in love with it, honestly. And I thought, take it. <laughs> I'd love take to, it. I'd love take to. It, <laughs> I better let All you right. go. Thank you, my friend. Good morning, guys. Look at the, uh, the water. It's absolutely beautifully turquoise blue. Absolutely beautiful to look at. I can't believe what a turquoise blue quality the water has. It's, it's stunning. It gets darker as you go further out to the ocean. But anyway, here I am. I'm in Vunda. Uh, in uh, just outside Lotoka, the second city of Fiji. I'm, uh, I'm just looking around the marina here and it's so peaceful, so tranquil, so calm. It's a nice day, it's been raining such a lot and um, yeah so I thought uh, you know it's the first really nice day we've had in over a week. It's rained so so much, it rained nearly every day and it's, I mean, it's the sort of thing you'd expect anyway, it's the, uh, it's the rainy season. Um, but it's kind of put a damper on a lot of the, the, uh, the vlogs and projects I've been contemplating. But anyway, so here we are, we're at Munda, and uh, this is going to be a very short vlog. Having said that, it might drag out for a bit, <laughs> who knows. But I thought I'd just show you around Munda and show you what it's like here. Um, so let's just head off into this bar, which is called the uh, the Goat Shed. Sorry, this bar, which is called the Boat Shed. And uh, but let's have a look. I tell you what, let's have a quick look around first. Um, Okay, so here we are, we're just going to descend onto this jetty here, just to see what it's like. Hope it doesn't give away. Okay, so we're on this jetty. And it just gives you a wonderful idea of what it's like here. Absolutely peaceful. So tranquil. There is a there is a tanker over there. An oil tanker. Now they, they have there is um an oil depot just around the corner from here. It's the Vunda oil depot. And so I suspect that tanker has arrived to deposit uh, petroleum at the uh, at the depot. But um, let's just have a little wander around first. Hello, boss. How are you? Okay. Hola. What's going on over there? Are you? Are you? Um. We planting, sir. Oh, you're planting what? Yeah. Mangrove? No, we are planting uh, grasses. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, what will happen over there on that? Um, is that I think. Like, uh, what's it called? Uh, the hangout place. For hangout for, yeah. for 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 people for visiting tourists, yeah. the uh, marina. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Looks really. Will they build little huts and things? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I was just curious, it looks really nice. The water's the water has such a beautiful quality. Yes, yeah. Welcome to Fiji. <laughs> okay. Okay, thanks. Okay, thank you, boss. So look at that, isn't it just it's so restful here. This, would you believe, is the first time for me here at the marina and it's so quiet. I, I know it's we're still in the midst of COVID. Uh, and we've got this latest variant to COVID, the Omicron 
variant which is uh, raging across the world. There are two cases in Fiji, but they're, um, the, so, far, so far as I know, they, they both involve individuals who returned recently from Nigeria and they're both in quarantine. So I don't know if Omicron is out there in the community. But um, yeah, so this is my first time here at uh, the marina and it's so peaceful. I could get used to this place. It's so quiet, so restful. There is that uh, tanker over there, which uh, is a bit of an eyesore. You've got some magnificent yachts on the other side, but that tanker, well, you just can't help uh, a tanker being in the vicinity when there is a, an oil depot just over there. You can see it just over there. That's the oil depot, the Vunda oil depot. And you've got all this mangrove over here. Um, so uh, I'm going to have a coffee and we'll, uh, we'll have a look a bit more around Vunda Marina. Just can't get over the quality of that water. Turquoise blue. Look at it. This is this is what you can expect if you happen to be interested in holidaying here in Fiji. This is the sort of this is the sort of quality of the water you can expect. Pristine and of the most translucid quality. Turquoise blue, beautiful. Uh, and look at this um, this jacaranda here. They call them Christmas trees because they, they flower over Christmas. And it, it, I, like, I just love those red petals. It gives it a really nice quality. So, uh, let's go and have this coffee and uh, we'll wander a little more around Thunder Marina. What, what have we got here? Uh, we've got a flex from around the world. Okay, I've just met Eunice, lovely guy. Hola, and welcome Eunice. to Wunda Boat Shed Restaurant. So this is the Boat Shed Restaurant. This is the Boat Shed I call it the Goats Shed Restaurant early. Okay. I don't know why, I've, I've got goats on the brain anyway. Okay. So, okay, so Eunice, you work here. Yes, sir. And uh, you've got all these flags. Yep. So I'm presuming people have come from all over the world. Yes and giving you these flags. flags yes. Okay, wow. This is amazing, isn't it? Yep. All, all these flags. You used to have more flags because when cyclone comes, uh, yeah, most yeah. of them fly away, most of them get bad, torn up. Okay, yeah. okay, tell me what's the situation like at the moment here at Vunda Marina? Are things picking up? Oh yes, it's picking up. It's uh, picking up, is it? To come in. The boats are starting to come in. Boats are starting to yes, come in. Sir. Okay, and you get a lot of people off the boats coming in off the boats? Uh, yes, we got a lot of, mostly a lot of people are coming for Christmas parties here. Christmas parties, yes. okay, which is good, isn't it? Yes. It's so what's the situation with COVID at the moment? When they come here, they, they can... Uh, yes, we they come in, uh, we've got cottage there. If they come in by boat, they got a three day quarantine at the cottage. Ah, okay, so they come in by boats. They have, yes. they've got a three... Okay, so they're quarantined in what? In, in a, a cottage. In a co cottage. In, oh, in a cottage. Yes, ah, okay, that's really clever, isn't it? Yeah. Huh? Okay, so people coming in, so there you go, people coming in from uh, on boats from outside Fiji are quarantined in cottages here at Bunda for three days. Okay, well thank you very much for that Eunice, I'm just going to have a little wander around and I'll come back. Uh, do you do coffee here? Uh, coffee machine is uh, better at the moment. Oh, okay. Cafe next okay, week. I'll go to the cafe. Sure. Alright, thanks Eunice. You're welcome. It's, it's so, so restful here. It's, so true. it's like my own private... Um, <laughs> Home oh, resort, you know. Windy. It, it is quite windy today, isn't it? Eh? Yeah. Okay, so here we are. We're, look at that water. I just can't get over the, the quality of the water. That water is just exceptionally clear and and blue. You can see. Well, I can see the rocks at the bottom and that turquoise quality is so typical for Fiji but we're going to leave Eunice here at the bar we're going to uh, try and see if we can get a coffee and come back maybe 
have a have some, okay he's, he's busy at the moment we're gonna come back and see if we can get a, a spot of lunch here so uh, let's head off let me just take you around on to the other side of the boat shed and there we go let's see if we can get a bit closer walking down this the spongy grass embankments and there we go so there you go that's uh, Vunda Marina from one side of course it goes from the marina extends over into the other direction and this is the second most important marina on the main on on BT Lebu, the mainland of uh, BT Lebu after uh, the one uh, after dinner out so after dinner hour, this is the second most important, the second biggest marina. Uh, dinner hour is, uh, is, I've been told that dinner hour is quite busy now. Uh, but Funda is still maintaining a little quietness. So, uh, but this is my first time, would you believe it? This is my first time. So here we are, we're in the, uh, this is the main part. This is the restaurant part of the boat shed. We've got some uh, what is it? exquisite paintings of the old life in Fiji. And it being Christmas, got Christmas decorations, you've got a Christmas tree. Okay, so let's Let's have a little wander over to the other side of, uh, wow, look at this here, look at these roots, oh, they're, just ex they're just amazing. Okay, so let's have a little wander on the other side. Uh, Eunice just said that the coffee machine was broken, so we're going to get a coffee uh, from uh, somewhere on the other side, and then perhaps come back here for a bite to eat a bit later. Okay, guys, have a look at this boat here. This, this schooner. Looks like it's out of something from the uh, romantic age of sailing. It looks absolutely, I don't know what's, 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 what's happening to whether it's being refitted and painted and I don't know what's going on here almost looks like it's uh, an exhibit but it's it's absolutely beautiful it's a sort of boat I'd love to go in and go around Fiji in and, and just explore the Pacific in this boat magnificent It says there, uh, Bremen in Germany. So, uh, Lulungomina from Bremen in Germany, no doubt. So, but look at the uh, look at the propeller. I don't think I don't know if this boat's being refitted off. It's just a, a little uh, it's on display. But what a magnificent relic from what a magnificent relic from a different era of, uh, of sailing. This is Bayer Bay. 
Is it, is it for sale? I don't know. Maybe. All boats are for sale. Well, it says Bremen. Are you German? No. Oh, okay. Sorry, you sounded as if you might have a bit of a German accent okay. there. But it says Bremen on the side. So I was wondering, perhaps some German guy left it here and went back to Germany. Yeah. And maybe it's for sale or something. You know, it looks, it looks just... It looks epic. It does look epic, doesn't it? Imagine going around the Pacific in a boat like this. <laughs> wouldn't it just be the, 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 the high point of your life, wouldn't yeah. it? Just exploring all those remote islands and... I just think it's just, yeah, my goodness. Where are you from, me? Eh? Uh, well, I, I live in Italy now. Okay, in Italy? Yeah, okay. yeah. In Matera. Yeah, okay. oh, are you from? Yeah. No, from Mexico. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, no, I live in, I live in Matera, mm. in, in the south of Italy. It's a beautiful little town in the south. Awesome. But I've, I, was, I was born here in Fiji. Yeah. So uh, I came here when the, the whole COVID pandemic. Yes. Oh, you have been living the dream then. Yeah, <laughs> well, well, I've... Uh, Without the people, yeah. Yeah, I, if only I could get out a bit more, but you know, having to wear the mask and then we were shut down, the whole country was shut down for about yeah. five months, so you couldn't do anything. Mm. So I wanted to just get out to the islands, but I, yeah, everything was put on hold. But now things are relaxing and getting, getting improving. It's getting better. But I just saw this and I fell in love with it, honestly. And I thought... Take it. <laughs> I'd love Take to. It. I'd love Take to. <laughs> I'd better let All you right. go. Thank you, my friend. You, my friend. There you go. That's just... I j I've, I've got to... I want to buy this boat. I just want to buy this boat. Okay, there you go, guys. Look at that view, isn't that? All those boats, it looks absolutely epic, but my heart and my soul is fixated with that old rusting hulk of a schooner which looks so romantic now i want this vlog the pale blue dot to be about not just fiji but about uh, the pacific and what better way to get around the pacific than that absolutely gem of a schooner so uh, do you know I've still got that schooner at the back of my mind as I show you the rest of the uh, marina it's almost like they've added something to the water to give it that quality to give it that blue quality but um, no no it's just natural that's what you get when you come to Fiji you get all this beauty and now look at that <laughs> look at that boat over there not as grand as the one I just looked at but still the sort of thing I like you know just going around oh look at that one over there Look at that boat over there. I'm going to finish uh, this short vlog at the restaurant where I've ordered a chicken salad. So, oh look, that's where you fill up on your uh, your diesel, on your fuel for your. Look at the colour of that one there. So this is where you look at that epic view with the the curve over here but anyway um let's head off back to that little cafe there the uh the restaurant to have i think it's a chicken salad that i've ordered anyway let's go and let's go and have a look at uh, what i've ordered okay so here we are Wow, that looks really good. Thank you, dear. Oh, okay, thank you, dear. Mm. Very edible.
needs a dash of chilli. Spiciness is encoded in my jeans. So, uh, can't live without hot food. So here we are. Mm. Oh, it's really good. Mm. I need to feel that kick. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay, got Christmas in a few days. So, um, Merry Christmas everyone. And it's me signing off on this vlog from Bunda Marina. Take care.